From your process in the Timer Pro line balancing module, it's very easy to produce a value stream map of the process. To do so, here you have your process. You simply click on the summary area, and then you're going to cl click on the option that says value stream map, this option right here. You click on it, it's going to give you an opportunity of where you want to save your data to. So we click on the browse here, and I like to save it under a browse, and maybe you have a particular uh, area you're working in. And you might create a value stream mapping folder here. So I'm going to call it VSM here. Just so we keep them all in the same place. And we load that up here. And we're going to call that uh, part 1. And then we click on the open. It shows you where it's going to store the data. You click on the OK. And it's going to start putting together the value stream map for you here. Now if you watch the color coding at the bottom, the red, the greens, the blues, that's whether it's value added, non-value added, or required non-value added. And you can see what it's doing, it's dumping all of the individual activities from the process into the value stream map. So it's creating a complete detail section with all of the content here. So if I scroll down, you can see that right here. So you can see each of the individual steps are documented here, along with the videos, since we've got videos here. And we can double click on the video link here and it'll play right back here. So again, all you need is Excel to be able to play back videos created and placed into your value stream map here. Up at the top here, you'll see the classic value stream map stacks. And there's one stack for each of the steps in the process. So mold parts, stack parts, buff three parts, those correspond with the first three processes here. Mold parts, stack parts, buff three parts. And remember, we've got the color coding here, representing uh, whether it's value added, non-value added, and so forth. And that is being reflected back over here in the value stream map also. You can see here my uh, my total time. This is required non-value added. This is my net value added time. Here you can see my total time. Here's some non-value added. And it gives you a net time again. And here you can see we've got a total time. Here's some non-value added. Here's some required non-value added, giving you a, a net value added time. Uh, if you have inventory between the stations, you can change the values right here. And uh, see that carry forward as well here. Between the uh, stacks and the process steps this is the area you can customize there's a separate video in the value stream mapping section that shows you how you can customize this to your exact needs of your operations here other things you can do is you also get an icon library here we give you all the common icons you might use of course you can add your own to this library so that you can build your own little pictures up here at the top any way that you wish and of course you can access all of the standard uh, drawing tools that come available within excel as well Notice at the top in row 1 and 2 here, value stream map, here's my part 1 and it says revision number 1. So it knows we're working with a particular revision here. And look at our values here for instance. Let's just look at the values for step uh, 1 and 2. So the first one is uh, total time is 49, second one is 34. We're going to make a change here and we're going to create a new revision of this process here. So I'm going to close out of this because come back over here to my process and I'm going to take one of the steps here just to load parts and I'm going to move it down here into the stack parts. So you can see my total here is it's now 45 and 38. Now we can generate a new value stream map for this. So we click on the value stream map again, we browse, we find the previous revision number 1 here, 001 here, and I'm going to click on the open and I'm going to say go ahead and create the new value stream map. It's going to do exactly the same thing again. It's going to pour all the data in. Of course it's going to reflect the changes that have been made in this and then we just let it build up here. So now the value stream map is complete. Here's my new value for station 1, 45, and 38 for station 2. Remember that corresponds to the value we had over here, 45 and 38. So it's reflecting the change here. It's also created a new revision. You can see up here, part 1, revision number 2. So any changes you make in your process, you can reflect them in your value stream map. And don't forget too, all your little icons can be dragged and dropped around as required to... Uh, make the true pictorial of what is actually happening in your process here. You can come back over to your icon libraries, you can pick any icons up, copy it and just place it into the value stream map, whatever you'd like it, the picture, wherever you'd like it to go here. And you can move it around as you wish 